Welcome to M1 Physiology. Uh, today is our first lecture in medical physiology and we'll cover body fluids. We'll cover the distribution of body fluids. Uh, this right here is, uh, this what you're seeing right now is gonna just cover the basic and then the next slide we'll give it, get a little more detail. And then we'll discuss how do you measure body fluids. So uh, here are two adult lean, average male and female. And the distribution of body fluids is goes like this. Uh, so we have the first. Let's start off with this is total body mass. So the the per, um, he might have a seventy two kilogram uh, adult. So we have a mass. The main point is mass. We have a weight, and our body. Our body distribution of fluid is for for an adult male, average lean male is forty percent of total body mass, and then for for uh, for and this is this is forty percent is solids. And then we have fluid. Fluid is the rest of the body. It's sixty percent. Most most of the weight of our of our bodies is in fluid. So sixty percent of total body mass is fluid. So then and then we have and then females are uh, slightly different. Uh, uh, they have a little bit uh, more solid and a little less fluid as a percentage of the total body mass. So that's 45% is uh, solid. And then we see 55% is fluid. So now we could break this down even further. The fluids could be broken down even further. And this is the nice color here. So the fluids could be broken down further. 40% of total body mass. Forty percent of total body mass is intracellular fluid. It's inside your cells, the cytoplasm. And then we have twenty percent of total body mass is extra cellular cellular fluid. It's outside of your cells. And now we see that, so we could break, we could, uh, if you want to calculate this as a percentage, this is our total body, 60% is 60% of total body volume, and that's our 100% of total bo uh, body fluid. So this, this whole thing is total body of water. And so 40, uh, 40 divided by 60, we see, is really is two thirds two two thirds of your total body water. This is just another way of thinking about it. So this is an of two thirds of total body water, and this is if of your total body mass, and of, the rest of it's two one third of TBW. So let's get let's get an example here. So we if we have a seventy two kilogram uh, male adult, and we want to figure out how much uh, fluid he has in his body. They take 72 times 0.6. So 72 kilograms times 
0.6 equals about 43 kilograms of fluid. And similarly, if we have 72 kilo, kilograms times 0.4, we have 29, I believe. About 29 kilograms of this is fluid, this is solid. And then if we want to divide that further, we have 43 kilograms of fluid. And if we're trying to find out how much intracellular fluid it, uh, the person has, you take 43 times two-thirds. So 43 times two-thirds equals about 28.6. Kilograms of intracellular fluid. And similarly, if you take 43 times uh, one third, we have about 14.3 kilograms of extracellular fluid. And there you go. So, I mean, you could check this. You could do 43 times. Uh, or you take 72, which is uh, we're we're using we're using 40% uh, of total body mass. 40, 72 times 0.4 is about tw is about 28.8. So about the same. We're counting rounding errors, so uh, it's about the same. There's a check. So there's two different ways of calculating it. You take 72 kilograms, the total body mass, times it by 0.6. You get total body w of water. 43 kilograms of fluid and then you times it by two-thirds because we said two-thirds of your total body of water is intracellular fluid so times it by two-thirds you get 28.6 alternatively you would say 40 percent of total body mass is an intracellular fluid so you have 72 times 0.4 and you get about this, uh, the same answer now, uh, so we have, we have a, you can see there might be a pattern here. There's a, there's a 60, 40, 20 rule. So 60, get a different color here. 60, 40, 20 rule. You see 60% is total body mass, 40%. 60% uh, to of total body mass is total body water, 40% is intracellular, and 20% is extracellular fluid. So there's a pattern in, in how the fluid is distributed. And, the, and if you remember 60, 60, 40, 20 rule, you'll be, uh, um, you'll be good, good to go. Um, and uh, females are just slightly different, uh, just uh, you're a, little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, solid. And a little less fluid. So the 60, 60 here would be 55 for females. It would be a 55, 40, 20 rule for females. So if you keep in, keep this rule in mind, you'll be it'll come up uh, useful much later uh, in in uh, figuring out distribution of body fluid.